looking for the perfect Christmas tree. <laughs> I don't think... I'm not big into cutting down Christmas trees. These are all cedars, which don't make great Christmas trees. But, you know, I should have brought, brought some uh, decorations to decorate the trees. Folks, we are in the Nelson Swamp unique area, um, hiking around in the snow. It's a pretty beautiful area, um, and it's about three o'clock. It's it's about <laughs> 15 degrees colder here than it was at home, though. But look how pretty this is. It's a it's a cedar swamp. Cedar swamps have been uh, pretty much destroyed in New York State. Um, there aren't a lot of them that are around like this one. It's pretty dense, and there are there are bunny tracks everywhere, which makes good for for the boys. This is our official Christmas video. We'll try to get this out before Christmas. We're the only ones here, but there are, it's a pretty good track. There's a pretty good track from a lot of other people and dogs. Come on, Dakota. The problem with winter, is that when a dog drops a load, it's not easy to pick it up until it freezes. <laughs> Which means you could come back later with a snow shovel, but... <laughs> if you haven't seen uh, my webpage and blog lately, it gives a couple of explanations as to why I haven't been sending up much video lately. Although it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of that busy time of year. I've been working late a lot, so I don't have time to do the editing. Once I come home and take care of the boys and, and make dinner and all that stuff, it's just not much time to, to uh, edit. And I don't have the ability to stay up past midnight. Um, my work life suffers and that I bump my head on the desk a lot falling asleep. So I have to sleep from about 10 o'clock until 5 in the morning or I'm pretty destroyed for the day. In fact, I really... <laughs> today we slept till about 9 o'clock in the morning, which is a little different. I still, I still have to get up at 6.30, 6 o'clock let the boys out and feed them breakfast and then then they'll come back up and go back to bed but otherwise they just bug the hell out of me in the morning We've got a lot of smells out here did we lose did we lose dakota where's dakota there he is he likes to drag way in the back he's a a much slower sniffer than caesar is we got the uh, the good camera for this little hike. We got the GoPro in the bag. I've always got the camera bag with me somewhere over here. But um, the GoPro is in there just because it's unprotected if I use the gimbal on the stick. And it's uh, you can't see anything if we saw wildlife or anything. Um, and one of the things that is really good about being out right now in the woods is that the owls, um, great horned owls and I believe barred owls, are, are nesting now. 
So you might see them during the day or hear them at the uh, at dusk. And it's uh, four o'clock and we were running the other day on uh, the canal and we heard a couple of them hooting back and forth. So we're, um, we're definitely looking around for nests or trees that are um, consistent with what a great horned owl would want to build a home in. This uh, little trail we're on is pretty neat. It's got benches and things along it. It goes over a couple of creeks. And uh, there's a fairly big waterway along the path up here that will go down near. It's interesting, in the city, um, the sun was out and everything really melted down pretty much. My thermometer said it was 40 degrees. I think maybe the thermometer was in the sun, but I don't like doing the videos in the sun anymore because it, uh, the shadows are just awful. Um, and so we came out to these woods because the woods are a little denser and so the light is a little more dispersed and, and better for photography. Here's the stream. It's a beautiful stream and a lot of times um, in the winter, like now, you'll see great blue herons and things in it. It's a very, very uh, nice kind of a wild stream. Comes from a swamp up by a farm up here. And so it's a well. It's a well-filtered piece of water. It's nice, clear, clean water. There's a lot of tracks, but I don't see any wildlife. Um, of course, the dogs don't help, but sometimes the deer, you know, they, um, they get crowded up because when the snow's over 24 inches, the deer bunch up into yards, they call them, deer yards, and they follow tracks that they don't have to push through the snow. Winter is so cool because of all the tracks. Must have been some kind of little tiny mouse or something that coming up from one tree to the next. goes off into the woods. <laughs> yeah, we're off the trail again. We just can't stand to hike on a trail, especially um, this place gets kind of a lot of people that walk their dogs here and the trail is just coated with poop on every... Um, the boys go out in the woods, so they'll go when we're hiking around like this. They'll find a tree to rest their butt up on, but it's about, I would say it's probably around 27, 28 degrees. I gotta get me one of them thermometers that goes on my, on my uh, jacket so I can really tell what the real temperature is because yeah, it's nice to know. Dakota walks a straight line and Caesar walks all over the place as usual. He's just going to get himself on some thin ice. He's getting down near the stream. Get up here. Caesar, come. He's a good boy. I'd like to know what these are. Caesar, what is this? What is this down here? Huh? Is that a squirrel? Is that a squirrel, huh? Or a chipmunk? 